Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your full body sweat and sculpt with weights workout. So in this workout, we will work your entire body for cardio and strength using either a set of dumbbells or a kettlebell or both. I will be switching off between dumbbells and kettlebells, but you just use what you have available to you. As always, I will give you lots of different options, so listen to your body and work to your level. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you always know when new workouts are released here on my YouTube channel and I can keep making them for you. All you need for this workout are your weights and a mat. Are you ready? Let's do it. It won't go away. I've got that feeling rushing through my Starting body. with a dynamic warm up, you can march it out or jog it out, whatever feels good for you to get the blood flowing, get the muscles warm. Let's roll those shoulders to the back, start small, and then make it bigger. And then to the front, start small, make it bigger. We will keep this warm up short so we can keep the workout short one at a time to the back. And as always, if you need more of a warm up or a cool down, please get it on your own. You can check out my extended warm up or extended cool down videos for some options. Open it up nice and big. Let's step it out into that side lunge. Let's reach it down, reach it up, reach. And then from here, just a little hinge, arm swings and dropping the hips. Starting to get warm here, right? Reach it up, go right down the front of your legs and reach it down. Down and then up. So flat back, just like your hinge. Keep it here if you want or walk it out to that inchworm. Walk it back, nice and slow and controlled. Warming up through the spine, through the back of the legs and also getting that core fired up and ready to go. Let's hold it here. Just press back to that down dog and forward into the plank. Press back and forward. If you can't do that, just stay upright. Keep reaching. One more. Walk those hands back. Reach it up to the top. Tap it back. Open up those hips, right? So you're here. If you're able, you can take it down to a lunge again. Not super deep, we just wanna open up the hips. Let's take it here, you can reach it up, hold it here if you need to, or reach it down, reach it up, and then switch that. Take that other back leg, reach up, or if you can, reach up. Let's do that again, let's add on. Step back, reach up, or down and up. Drop that back knee, three, two, little open of the hip. Step it through, other side. Hold it here or here or take it down. Drop that back knee. Three, two, one. Step it in right here. Press out gently on the inside of the leg since you're already here. I know a little quad burn, right? We love it. Round it up through your back. Flat back down. Round it up one more. All right, let's keep warming up. Tap it across. All right, team. So. We are gonna jump in, no timed intervals today. I'll be counting and timing, but I don't want you to worry about the clock because here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna start with a sweat move. So if you've done any of my other sweat and sculpt workouts, and this may look familiar, it's a fun format. We start with a sweat move, but using the weights. Let's bring those hamstrings up. So you're using the weight for a sweat move. Then we're gonna take it to a compound as an upper and lower maybe upper and core, a compound movement where it's more of a sculpt, a strength-based move, right? At the end of that, we may add a few little pulses just to get a good burn. Then we'll do the same with a core, where we have a core sweat move and a core sculpt move. And then at the very end, to close out the circuit, let's stretch it right here, we will take it back to that sweat move with no weights. Sounds like a lot, but don't worry. I'm gonna talk you through it. Go ahead and shake it up. Grab either your dumbbells or your kettlebells. I'm gonna start with my dumbbells. We're gonna start whoo, with a little shuffle. Join me here. So shuffle, 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 shuffle. So you're here. You can take it to a double step. We've got the weights, right? If you wanna take it to just one weight, 
that's okay too. And then we're gonna add a little punch. So shuffle, shuffle, small punch. Shuffle, shuffle. I know, it feels like a lot. If you're with one weight, you're just here. Punch, right? Keep it up, yes. Double step works too. Arms are working, legs are working, and heart rate's getting up. Whoo, sweat move. Four, three, two, one. Relax, good, shake those out. Now we're gonna take it to a plie squat with a row, so watch me first. Shoulders back while you catch your breath, toes out, plie, drop the chest nice and flat, bring it up strong in a row, bring it all the way up. So it's a little bit of a sumo deadlift where we have to drop the chest. From here, keep that back flat, elbows up and up. Join me, zip up that core, shoulders back. Here we go. Down, up, and breathe. Down, up, flat back, all the way through. So toes out, drop it low. As you come up, really squeeze through the inner thighs and the glutes. Connect with the pelvic floor in that deep core. All the way up, down. Pull those shoulder blades to the back. So a lot of things working here, but really think about squeezing those big muscles all down the spine. Down, up, and breathe. Last one. Good, watch me here. We're gonna pulse it down. Three, two, drop the chest, row, bring it up. Pulse in the legs. Three, two, one, row, and up. Keep it going. Three, two, one, row, and up. Three, two, burn. Let's switch our pulse right here. Take it down, pulse the upper. Three, two, one. Row, drop it down, bring it up. Pulse the row, down, up, three, two, one. Two more, just like that. Pulse row, three, two, one. Last one right here. Three, two, one, and relax, right? So little burn sequence at the end. Drop one dumbbell down, or hang on to that one kettlebell. Whatever you got. We're just gonna finish it out. Now we're gonna take it to a little sweat sequence with our core. We're gonna go right side and left side with that chop, watch me. Hip to shoulder, you can keep it nice and small or take it a little bit bigger, bring it up. But we got some cardio, we got some arms, and we got a lot of core and obliques. Bring it to your chest, one dumbbell or one kettlebell. Three, two, one, wood chop, here we go down and up, chop it. So even though it's the sweat move, it does not mean it has to be fast. Because we're working with the weight, we wanna make sure we're getting the power, but we're keeping the control, right? Down and up. Yes, four more. This side, three, two, one more. Let's take it other side. Center, hip to shoulder, hip to shoulder, hip to shoulder. Take it bigger if that's good for you. Notice I'm picking up my feet. You can pivot if that's better or pick them up depending on your floor or your knees. Yes. Core arms, four, three, two, one, relax, good. Excellent work, team. Weight down. We're gonna take it to a sculpt move for our core. If you need to modify, you're gonna do everything that we do down on the floor in a standing position. So it's gonna be a knee cross, and then when we pulse, you're gonna keep it standing. So pre, early, post, DR, stay standing. Anybody else who needs to modify? Otherwise, bring it with me in that high plank, zip up that core, start slow, bring those knees across tap and back. So you can keep that foot on the floor or you can keep it up. You can pick up the pace a little bit if you want 
but I still want you to keep it controlled again because we're not worried about the cardio on this. We really want the core engagement. You're gonna get both just by being there, but really take it across, shoulders square, obliques. Keep it going, here we go. Over and back. Really activate, lift up in the center core. Four more, four, three, two. Hold it here, I want you to pulse the knee towards the elbow. Standing works too. Three, two, other side. Pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Stretch it out, yes, ha, breathe. All right, team, let's bring it up. I forgot one last thing we're gonna add on each circuit is a swing. You can do a kettlebell swing, kettlebell in the center, you can do two dumbbells, that's what I'm gonna start with, skier swing, or swing with just one. Whew. Shoulders back, if you've never done a swing before, you're not comfortable, your modification is just this deadlift, just this hinge, same set of muscles without the power. Otherwise, bring it here with me, Roll those shoulders back. We're gonna swing it. Hinge, prep it. Three, two, one. Power it up. So I want you to feel those feet. Push your feet into the floor. We are popping it up, but we're not hyperextending or arching at the top. So what helps is to really push your feet into the floor, drive those heels and those toes in as you squeeze in the glutes, as you squeeze, locking up the knees, core, and letting your arms relax and go with the flow. Here we go, four, three, two, one. Swing and relax, pedal your feet. All right guys, now we're gonna close out the circuit. Ha ha, whoo, catch your breath. We are back to that very first sweat move, that shuffle and punch or shuffle and push. No weights, let's just get it done. We will keep it short. Core is engaged, shoulders back, double step, or quick shuffle, three, two, one. Take off, here we go. Shuffle, punch, shuffle, punch. Or double step, punch, double step, punch. Try to get low, so you keep those legs working. You do not have to go the same speed as me or anybody else, you do you. Be where you are today. Remember, all that matters is that you showed up today. You showed up, you're successful. Last one. Whoo! Now get some water, team. Catch your breath. Circuit one is done. Here's the thing, guys. I don't think I said this before, but we are not doing everything again with the other piece of equipment like we sometimes do in the with weights workouts. Whoo! We are just gonna switch if you got them. So I'm going to my kettlebell if you want to join me for that. Whew. Otherwise, you do what you're most comfortable with or what you have available to you. That's how it's gonna work. All right, team, so one kettlebell if you got it, or you can do two dumbbells. I'll show you ways to do it. Our sweat move that we're gonna start with is just gonna be your basic squat and press. You're gonna drop super low. You're gonna press it up. I'm gonna give you the option if you wanna add a little rotation about halfway through. If you're feeling ambitious, you wanna take it one side, you can take it there and alternate. Go ahead, grab that weight right in the center, core engaged, here we go. Squat and press. I know what you're thinking, this is a strength move, right? But trust me, you're gonna feel that heart rate going. If you want, cross it so it's a little pivot, rotational press. Let me show you the same. If you got two dumbbells, you can be here. We're about at that halfway point if you're doing one side or here. Take them up, right? All the way through, whatever you got. Either weight, dumbbells or kettlebells. Keep it going. There's that heart rate, right? Whoo! Breathe down and up. Two more. Yes, last one. Whoo! All right, catch your breath, team. All right, so we're gonna take it to a bicep curl into a lunge. If you've got your kettlebell in here with me, if you wanna take it to a gunslinger curl, you're gonna turn it, drop it down, 
back to center. If you would rather, you can just curl, lunge, or two dumbbells. You would do the same. You just turn into that two dumbbells. Make sense? It will. We're going to get both sides and we'll pulse at the end. So stay with me. Feet out wide, core zipped. Here we go. Gunslinger, lunge, back to center. Nice and slow. So pivot. You can, again, either twist your feet if you have a floor that you can pivot on easily, or you can stay with me, pick up your feet. You're catching it at the top. Again, modification with two hands. And breathe, or two dumbbells, just your regular curl. Yes. Good. Take it here. Last one. Good, watch me here, I'm gonna pulse. Pulse halfway for three, drop it, lunge. Three, two, one, lunge it down. Curl, pulse for three, lunge. Good, pulse your lunge. Three, two, one, up and curl. Three, two, one, up and curl. Three, two, one. One, one more. Good, shake it out. All right, guys. So again, we're gonna take it to the other side. Looks just like that. We're gonna keep it short. Gunslinger, you get a little power. Sling it around, catch it. Or two hands, turn it. Or two hands with your dumbbells. So stay with me, zip up that core. Power, find your footing, then into the lunge. In three, two, one, curl and lunge. Take it here, drop it down, and center. Good. Use that hand to catch the kettlebell to also really get your core. Really tighten in that core. Breathe, two hands works too. Take it up, pick up those feet if you need to. Up, last two, yes, one more. Good, at the top, pulse your curl. Three, two, one, down. Three, two, make it where you can feel it. So not just here, but here, right? Three, two, one, pulse at the bottom. Pulse your lunge. Two, one, up and curl. Lunge, up and curl. Two more, yes, last one. And relax, ah, good work, team. All right, we're gonna take it to our core, right? Whoo, so we're taking it into a windmill side knee. So we're gonna keep that windmill low. If you're feeling super ambitious, you wanna take it, but here's what it looks like. Here, and bring it in. So I'm gonna keep it low, it's up to you. We're gonna get each side, then we'll take it down. So this is our sweat core, then we got our sculpt core. Bring it up, zip it up, turn that toe out. Here we go. Take it down, side knee. Yes, down, and knee, whoo. And breathe, looking up, hinge. Again, if you're feeling good about it, take it up. Pull it in, it's a lot, but you can do it. And breathe. Last two. One more. Let's get that other side. So flip it. Up or down. I'm gonna start down. Here we go. Windmill. Core. Remember, I know it's a sweat. Heart rate's not gonna be up crazy high, but don't worry, it's coming. And up. Yes. Or if you're feeling good about it, Take it high. Down and breathe. Yes. One more. Whew. Yes, relax. All right, team, bring it down into a side plank. We're gonna start with just a hold. Then we'll add some pulses on your knees to modify. Lift up if you can on those toes. Bring it up right here. So holding it up, if you can keep that hand up, 
or have this hand down, but make sure we're not twisting into it. You're holding here, everything is zipped. Drop that knee if you need to. Again, if you're feeling that shoulder, you may need to rotate where that thumb is. Internally or externally, rotate your shoulder. See how it feels. Little pulses down. Pulse. Drop that hip. Breathe. Four, three. Now switch the gears in your head. Pulse it up. Right? Essentially the same, but your brain is thinking about something different. Pulse it down. Twist. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, relax. Swing those legs to that other side. We'll start with the hold. We'll pulse it down. We'll pulse it up. We'll pulse it twist. Core engaged, everything pulled in. Give yourself a second to get set up. Remember, rotate that hand if you need to. Up in three, two, one. Here we go, bring it up. Drop that knee if you need to. Most important thing is that you're engaged. So pull everything in, make sure we're not pushing out or arching our back. Everything's in tight, we're still breathing. Hand wherever it needs to be for that shoulder. Yes, keep it going. Pulse it down, here we go. Small little dips towards the floor. Four, three, two, pulse it up. Up, towards the ceiling. Yes, four, three, two, pulse it twist. Whoo. There we go, four, three, two, relax. Yes, team, I know. We felt a little bit slower because we got a little bit of core isolation but let's take it up to a swing. Let's finish out this circuit. We're gonna swing it. I'm gonna switch to my heavy kettlebell. You can go kettlebell, you can go dumbbells, whatever is best for you. Again, if you've never done it before, you're not comfortable or you need to modify, deadlift, just hinge, weight to the floor. Let's get it done. Roll those shoulders back, core engaged. Hike it, here we go. Hike, three, two, one, power up. Zip up that core right at the top. Again, as you push those feet into the floor, think straight up and down from the top of your head towards the feet, through the spine and the tailbone. Locking out, but not arching forward. Remember those arms are just going chest to eye level. Here we go, eight, power, seven, six, five. Don't forget about your core, three, Two, one, swing and relax. Pedal your feet, catch your breath. Woo. Remember guys, we gotta do one more thing to finish this long circuit. I know, what was it? It was that squat and reach, squat and reach. You can do a squat jump or you can come up on the toes. I just wanna see a little bit of power. Let's get it done. Here we go, squat and toes or jump it. If you can, get that jump for that power, I know. Let's get it done, no weights, just our sweat move. Squat and press, or squat and reach. Land soft, get low. Either way, we're getting power, we're getting the sweat. Five, four, three, two, and breathe. Water, yes. Let's get it done. Woo! Ah, nice work, team. All right, we got one more circuit. We're gonna get it done fast. We're gonna have a good time. Woo! All right, team. So, watch me here. Dumbbells or kettlebells, I'm gonna go back and forth between the two. We're gonna take it with a little hinge, almost like a runner's lunge and high pull. So there's your sweat. You have two options. Step it back, hinge, high pull, or if you're comfortable, snatch. Your snatch, you're pulling up close to your body. Get some power. If you've never done a snatch, keep the high pull. We'll get one side, then we'll get the other, just like we did with that wood chop. We're gonna get it done, all right? Whew. Catch your breath, grab one weight, and then we're taking it down to the floor, right? So we got it with, whew, this chest press, we'll do one thing up top. Don't worry, I'm gonna talk you through it. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself, take it back here. One foot forward, hinge it, high pull, ready. Here we go. Down, 
here. It's sweat. It's a hinge. Or here, snatch. Here, yes. Let's keep it going. Breathe, high puller snatch, whatever is good for you. I know it's like a mini lunge. Four, three, two, one more. Yes, catch your breath, right? Take it to that other side. Listen guys, I know it's quick to go from here to here, so start with that high pull so you get a feel for the rhythm. You're not just going quick into here. I really want you to get set up, pull it up, get back. Here we go. Take a hinge, high pull, kickstand deadlift, or a little half lunge, whatever feels better for you. Snatch it if you want. Woo. Keep it going, right? If you need to take the, the hinge out like I just did, that's okay. Get one or the other, or get them both. Last four. Four, three, two, last one. Ho, breathe, catch your breath. That's your sweat, right? Go ahead, switch it to the kettlebell if you want. That's what I'm gonna do. This last circuit, we've got two whew, sides. So we're gonna get it done right here. Watch me, side lunge. Press, tries, join me. So we're gonna start with a press. I'm gonna give you the option to take it to a halo. Zip up that core, get low. Here we go. Side lunge, press, tries, all the way through. Nice and slow, press, tries, take it down. Press, tries, and here. Keep it just that, or we're gonna drop it low, clean it, press, tries. Low, clean it, press, tries. Or just here, pull it through. There we go. Yes, four more, four. Yes, three. There we go. Two. One more. Good, I want you to take it down. We're just gonna pulse here. We're gonna stay here. We're not gonna do those three and three. We really wanna shift our weight into that hip. Even lower, if you can. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take it up right here, triceps, elbows in. Keep it low if you need to. Put that foot back, but behind your head. Elbows in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Other side right here. Down, press, and tries. I know they're burning. Good. Keep it to your chest first. Get a feel for it. And breathe. Yes. If you want, down, halo, tries. Down, it's a lot of parts, so don't rush it. I know you have to move that kettlebell, so if you'd rather, just keep it here. Keep it going. Whoo, right? I know, don't worry. Don't try to force the halo unless you want. Safety first, of course. Good, let's take it down. Pulse into the hip. I want you to shift your weight and try to cross that kettlebell to the ground. Keep it going in the hip. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take it up right here last time. Triceps, keep it going. Four, three, two, Relax. Ah, oh, burn, right? Whoo! Catch your breath. Ha! Ah, man. Whoo! Let's take it down. We're gonna get that core. We're gonna get some upper to keep them going. 
So take it here. We're coming on our elbows, guys. We're just taking it to your plank jack for your sweat core. If you need to modify, I want you to go standing jack or standing low impact jack. It's up to you or low impact jack on your elbows. Zip up that core. We're close to being done, team. So stay with me. Take it here. Here we go. Take it out. Nice and light. Again, you can do a standing full jack, a standing low impact. You can take it here, whatever you got. Breathe, but keep it going for that core. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, <laughs> good. Breathe, bring it back down. Let's take it on your back. So we got your core sculpt. So close team, grab those dumbbells if you got only a kettlebell, you're just gonna have one. If you got the dumbbells, modification. We're doing a press and a bridge. Watch my arms, I'm gonna rotate to bring those elbows and those palms towards me and then back. If you got just the kettlebell, you're just doing one straight up press. Bridge to modify, otherwise, we're gonna take those legs. Take it in, join me. Take it down. Exhale. Shh. Pull everything in. Take it here. Shh. If you're modifying your core, you're just taking it to a bridge. So watch my arms, elbows out, standard press, then I rotate at the top. Let's get it done. Shh. Yes. And breathe. Last four, four, and up, three, two, one, good. I want you to hold it halfway, pulse, pulse those feet out really small, four, three, two, hold them out if you can, pulse, pulse, elbows in, four, three, two, Relax, yes, good, burn, bring it up. We got one more swing, team. So let's get it done. You pick dumbbells or kettlebells. I'm going heavy kettlebell. So stick with me if you can. Yes, I know, my arms are feeling it too. Last time swing, then one more sweat. Right, are we feeling it? Whoo, those triceps, right? Swing it here. Remember, you can always modify with just your deadlift, dumbbells or kettlebells. Last time swing. Here we go, power it up, hike it. I know we're tired, but you're here with me. You showed up today, so I want you to finish this last few minutes with everything you've got. You are here for a reason. You are here for you, for the people you love, so do not give up on me now because I know you can finish this strong. Keep breathing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Swing and relax. Yes, pedal your feet, stretch your back. Ha, huh. Guys, did you remember? We gotta go back to that first sweat. I know, I know. Shake it out. What was it? What did we do, remember? We did that snatch. So we're taking the weight out. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take it runner's lunge. You can power it up to here. You can power with just a tap or a jump from the top or really low to high. Let's get it done. We're gonna get both sides, make it burn, get that heart pumping, whatever that is for you. Let's finish it out. Here we go. Take it down, bring it up or here to here or here and up, whatever it is for you. Low to high, drive up that foot if you're jumping or push on the heel if you're not. Knee to the chest. Eight, seven, six, five, power. Four, three, two, one. Relax, we gotta get that other side, let's get it done. I know you're tired, but you're here. Let's do it, here we go. Tap it back, bring it up, or dab it up, jump it up, jump it up, woo! I can't talk, 
but that means my heart is pumping and I'm right there with you feeling every bit of this. Finish strong, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, yes, ha, ah, right? Let's grab a quick sip of water. Y'all, you did it, but I think we can squeeze that bonus move in. What do you think? Yes, I know you're saying yes. Maybe you're not, but you're gonna do it anyway because you're here. Let's get it done. How about we keep it no weight, guys? No weight at all. Watch me here. You're gonna squat it down. You're gonna jump it up. Squat it down, jump it up. So it's a little twist. If you're not jumping, just twist. We really wanna get the core, right? Down and twist. You can keep it with just that. Or the down and up version of it is down, twist, twist, up, up. So if you wanna just keep it standing, you can, with just a squat, twist, squat, twist. Otherwise, you do all of that, then you pop it back, twist, twist, jumping your knees to your sides. It's gonna make sense. Otherwise, just move your body. Remember, this bonus move is just about getting it done. Here we go. Down, twist, down, twist. If you want, down, twist, down, twist. Bring it up. You do not have to be fast with this. Remember, bonus move is about brain, not pain. I want your brain to have to work so you're not thinking about the fact that you're tired. Take it down. Woo. I know it's hard not to. Ha. Yes. Keep it going. You can take it slow. Just get it done. You can take the jumps out. Remember, twist, twist. Take it here. Twist, twist. Ha. 10 seconds. Take it in. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. Ah, sit back into that child's pose. I know, team. I'm feeling every bit of that with you. Give yourself a second. Let's actually take it standing. Ah, two, just let that heart rate settle. I know you're tempted to skip this cool down, but stay with me just a couple minutes whew, to get everything regulated and feeling good. Ha, ah, swing those arms. You did it, and I am so proud of you. You showed up, you moved, you got it done. Let's take those legs out. Burn, right? Little stretch as you push gently on the inside of the leg, roll that shoulder forward. A lot of moving parts today, guys. It was not the easiest workout in terms of the workout, I hope, to expect, but also in terms of all the things you had to remember. So sometimes we need that, right? You know I am all about giving you variety. So mixing it up, some of them are our back to basics, some of them are a brain workout as well, some of them are a combination of the two. So all of it, is to keep your brain and body from getting bored, confusing your muscles so we can see that change, that growth, that adaptation, and to keep you wanting to come back, right? I want this to be fun for you. I know not everybody thinks fitness is fun. I do, but not everybody does. But I want you to feel good about being here. Whatever that felt like during the workout, whatever it looks like, I know we all think that we're uncoordinated or we all feel a little bit silly, one foot up if you can, tilt that hip forward. But the fact is you're here, you showed up, you moved your body. That is success. That is winning. You are doing it. You are here. So do not let your brain tell you anything differently. If you feel tired, it's because you worked hard. If that workout was hard, it's because you worked hard, right? That is all you need to remind yourself of today, and I want you to take that throughout the rest of your day, throughout the rest of your week. Let's get it done. Awesome job, guys. Take that fingertip, 
press them down, let your head drop to the side. If you are looking for some more support and accountability, check out the links below. Join us in the Body Fit Athletic Club. That is where you get to connect with body fitters from all around the world. You get direct access and support to me from Vivian, our body fit dietitian, and you will get a nutrition plan and new schedules every week, new challenges. It is a lot of fun. We have a really great time. It's a really great supportive group. And of course, click the other links. If you're just looking, whoo, take it here, standing cat to cow. For my eBooks, my programs, and my nutrition guide, or body fit apparel, prenatal, postnatal workouts, whatever it is, check it out. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this workout. And of course, don't forget to subscribe when you subscribe to my channel. That helps me to keep making these workouts free for you to keep adding new and different workouts here every week on the Body Fit by Amy YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe. One big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your full body sweat and sculpt with weights workout. Great job, everybody.